Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Cutting with me, Steve Stomber. This last episode we did our initial check-in. We weighed in at 223. This last week we had a huge difference. Check out my weight chart right here. So you could see we made some plateaus, but overall we just started driving down. We really want to get to where we want to go. And I think I'm going to be getting a little bit lower. Initially set that goal for 212. I'm going to be setting it to get to about 207. I think that will be like the perfect amount of shredded and... Uh, you know, still being content with my life and not being too miserable, as you guys heard in that last episode of what happens when you really go into a deep deficit. Anyway, this episode we're going to be doing an at-home leg workout, which is one of the more struggling things to do at home, personally, I think, um, depending on what equipment you have available. So we're going to be going through that today, going through some of my progress, some additional tips and tricks I'm going to work in. So stay tuned. Here's our equipment, 50 pound dumbbell, 30 pound kettlebell, and a weight belt. So now we have our single leg deadlifts. So here you wanna feel it in your upper hamstring and in your glute. You really wanna control the motion throughout. And really feel it in that planted leg. Next we have some squats. So this is the first variation where we are holding the weight overhead. This is a great way to integrate a little bit more core work into your squat. Um, here we're really going down, feeling the delts, and then you really want to just like explode using your glutes. Um, you should really want to build that tension you see here in the negative, and this is the second variation, going a little bit heavier weight, so this way we don't keep it up top because that's a little bit more stressful. And this way you're doing the same thing, feeling that in the depth, really just want to feel it in the negative. And then you could just really just want to explode it from that pause situation. So that's the goal with this exercise. And now my favorite is the sliding lunges. So with this one, what I'm doing is I'm wearing the socks so I could glide against the wood floor. And I'm just doing that in the negative, really just feeling it in that planted legs uh, hamstring. And on that upwards motion, what I'm doing is I'm lifting that leg that's sliding out out and I'm just lifting up with that planted leg. And it's a really good hamstring burner. Absolutely one of my favorites to do during leg day, especially this home situation. And now you guys know this one. So we have our one leg raised uh, lunges here. So this, I'm doing a little bit shorter of a range of motion, really trying to feel it in that upper hamstring glute area as well. Um, so this, I some exercises I go with a more full range of motion. And then sometimes if I'm really just trying to feel a burn in one specific location I might shorten up that range of motion to isolate which I'm doing here and then this is one that I really haven't utilized before but weighted floor bridges now I know it's not a lot of weight but I really haven't been doing floor bridges just because uh, I personally do a lot of squatting but now that you know I don't have some heavy squatting to do all I have is up to 50 dumbbells um, so you know, this is a great way to really work on your glutes while we can't really squat heavy anymore. You know, if you don't got the plates and you don't got that rack set up, this is one of those keys to keep that glute strength maintained throughout this quarantine situation. What we're going to do is finish it off with some kettlebell swings here. We're exploding through my heels, still really feeling it in my hamstring and my glutes. You're doing, this is kind of like a good way to integrate some cardio at the end of your workout. Just elevate your heart rate. Um, and then typically what I'll do is I'll follow this up with a little bit of actual cardio after my workout, but I really like the kettlebell swings. And now let's get into just a little bit of a posing check-in. Not the best poser, um, but this is our current status. Um, this is probably why I don't do too well in men's physique. Kind of got a blocky hips, got to get my taper better. But overall, I'm just doing this to get in shape for summer, and I'm liking where I'm heading right now. And then some back progress as well. So thanks for watching today's episode. On the next episode, we're going to be going more on my nutrition. So what really drove me down from that mid-220s all the way to where I'm at to the lower teens, 210 area. Um, so I'm going to be going over some of those tips. I'm still ironing a few things out. So I want to iron those things out and give you guys the best information possible. But make sure you tune in for the next episode because keep in mind, we're working out at home and we're making some incredible gains. So you know it's really going to be mainly nutrition that we're really focusing and dialing in here just because you're limited on the workouts, but the nutrition we could still apply A-plus game maneuvers. So 
Let's do that. Tune in next week, and I'll see you guys then.